analysis groups allow you to perform post-processing of monitor data to define custom results. For example, here's an analysis group which contains a box of monitors. After the simulation is run, the analysis group script collects the transmission through each of the monitors that make up the sides of the box and sums the transmission to give the net power flowing into or out of the box as a custom result. Analysis groups can contain structures, sources, and monitors, and they are also capable of setting up the properties of these objects using a setup script. The analysis script is used to collect the results from monitors contained inside the group and calculate new results. One example of an analysis group is the model group, which is located at the top of the object's tree and contains all of the objects in the simulation. You can add a new empty analysis group from the Groups button in the main toolbar. When you edit an analysis group under the Setup tab in the Variables tab, you can define custom properties that can then be used in the Setup script, which is under the Script tab. The Setup script can be used to add or remove objects in the group and set up properties of the objects contained inside the group. Under the Analysis tab in the Variables tab, you can add input variables that can be used by the analysis script, and you can also add the names of results that will be calculated by the analysis script that will be returned after the analysis script has been run. Under the Script tab, the analysis script can be used to collect monitor data from any of the monitors in the group, and the user-defined results can then be calculated. The group can either be a construction group, meaning that objects inside the group are deleted and set up again from scratch each time the setup script is run, or if the construction group option is unchecked, the script will only modify the properties of existing objects inside the group and won't add or delete the objects. Groups can only modify or access data from child objects contained inside the group and can't affect objects or get data from objects that are outside the group in either parent or sibling objects. Groups can also be nested. Results from the analysis group can be visualized and used the same way as monitor results, and analysis group variables can be used in parameter sweeps. Container groups and structure groups are also available. Container groups do not have the capability to set up properties of any objects or collect monitor results for analysis. And structure groups are used to set up properties of structures, but they cannot contain monitors or sources or collect any results. The object library contains structure and analysis groups that are already set up and available to insert directly into your simulation. In the following unit, we'll look at how to use these analysis groups from the object library.